What's going on, everybody? Captain Robert and crew here for Rise of the Black Worm, episode eight. We're back. Let's go. Again. Multiple weeks in a row. Oh my <laughs> goodness, who would have thought? What? I iron on me too. <sighs> it's okay. I have my first convention of 2024 next week to mess everything <laughs> up again. Nah, that's Woo. Right. Mm. Might as well. At this is where I want to be. Know now. <laughs> oh, next week? That's convenient because I'm out of town. Boom. Okay, well, see you guys in two weeks after this episode. I guess. <laughs> <laughs> uh, welcome, welcome. Happy 2024, uh, you know, for those who missed this last week. Welcome, welcome. Anybody got <gasps> big announcements? What? Well, well, it's go funny ahead. you say that. I, I do have a big announcement. Um, You're actually going to see us in three weeks because the 25th is the day I move from Florida. Oh. So if we're missing next week, we are missing... <laughs> I'll see you guys in uh, February. After you this better episode. appreciate this <laughs> shit tonight. Otherwise, you're not getting your fix. You're going to have to sit in this channel and go to YouTube and watch reruns to infinity. Exactly. Let's do it. Well, okay. I guess I'm moving in two weeks. That's, that's my big news. That's the only thing I got. Anybody else with big well, news they want to let the community know about? No. Not here. Nope. Nada. Well, tomorrow I'm actually going to be a real streamer because we are fundraising Ooh. to take care of the budget shortfalls of 2024 for the rest of my players inside of Stormforge Marrow Strand. So I'll be playing Baldur's oh. Gate for 12 straight hours with Ooh. all sorts of wonderful heat, hot sauce based punishments and other crap Ooh. so I can help out uh, the players uh well, I wait to sign contracts for sponsorships over here. So <laughs> come enjoy me stuff. actually play act two on I'm at Jihira and I'll, you know, I had to base it into this. I haven't got to play in forever. So that mm. I am excited for. Hell, but yeah. Hell yeah. We're doing a sleepover 12 hours. We'll see. I'm old enough where I'm probably going to fall asleep. So in, enjoy me just n eventually just nodding off into the ether because 12 hours is a long time. Oh yeah, <laughs> uh, yeah, that's exciting. So we're doing uh, we're doing the thing, and then if you're in Magfest next week, I will be in the DC area. I'm on three different panels. I'll post them all about tabletop stuff and uh, any of the uh, if you follow any of the content creators that are inside the video game music scene, I will be going to all of their stuff. So uh, I I've never been to Magfest, so if it's your first time or your experience out there let me know in the discord i will be there and it's like it's all contained on one site so it kind of reminds me of gcx like there's nowhere else to go it's just in the gaylord so i'm excited to roam the halls and drink voodoo ranger and be a degenerate so if they're holler oh, at me yeah. i like the complete on site like dragon con like the ones where it's all it's it's all there where it's like one what set facility stand for um music and gaming that, that's, that's what, what i assume not. it means yeah <laughs> uh, i believe <laughs> good thing they let us know arts. in the comments below <laughs> music <laughs> and yeah. gaming music and arts arts there we go gaming how do you yeah that's just what the a stands for Ruben, are you still opening up honkai star rail no! boxes i can, I, I saw the flash it. Okay. No, I closed it. I finished my simulated universe run. How dare you oh, call no, our king out like that on stream? <laughs> exposing. <laughs> well, Ruben, that's the thing. He sends all his viewers to me, and then he expects me to just corral them to watch him play D&D. &D. It's like, dude, just stream. <laughs> I, oh yeah, let me just stream D&D &D when I haven't streamed the previous seven episodes. I can <laughs> catch up on my YouTube channel. <laughs> Ah, or Robert's YouTube channel actually. E e Link in the description. <laughs> uh, I will also uh, turn off those lovely ads for everybody and cut those. Good reminder for me, by the way. I'm trying to yeah, remember yeah. this for uh, lives. Always cutting. Boom, they gone. That's a good idea. <clears throat> we need to pick up where we left off last week. With an interesting journey for Mesmo. 
reuniting with the soul of his old mentor, Richard the Wizard, challenging him to develop his powers in a way where he can find himself more useful in the world and finally stop invoking his name and to start spreading his own. In epic bard combat, Mesmo succeeded gaining literal new feathers in his cap and disposal. The rest of the party being able to take in the creature comforts of the Elf Song Tavern and the penthouse provided. You guys were able to rest up, get some meals in, and devise a plan. With the influence of Sawyer, Sawyer, and Sawyer, an invitation to head to Upper City to go look for work. You guys exited upon the streets, but once again found your stealthiness to be your downfall. Running into a trap of different sorts this time. No actual humanoids chasing you, no mages, no ogres. Only a trap of gelatinous cubes. You guys were able to do inventive ways in getting over but eventually found out at the very end Damien's secret as he's transformed into the black worm himself revealing his coatal form for the first time and more importantly revealing the great value that he has to the Zentarum we pick back up outside of the danger of the cube still inside the alleyway tucked away from everyone else but only a few moments after getting to safety wait so the cubes are, are aren't around us anymore they're not chilling oh, okay hell yeah cubes are gone cubes are gone been vanished no other individuals you were safe inside the alleyway as damien will shrink back down into his human form on the other side I and mean, i assume most of us see this kind of happening yeah he's the like last we, one yeah, we all, I think we all everyone's so we all kind of everyone saw this and see. yeah yes Well, a much clearer picture is uh, currently being painted right now, Damien. What kind of snake was that? Technically, I think that was a worm. It looked like a big one to me. But that had wings. Worms don't have wings. <sighs> not it, not like a, a one in the ground. There's different kinds. Huh? This one has a Y. You it. now understand my secret. I figured uh, we were friends. You could have just told us your secret. I I feel like we know about it. Uh, understand? Um, you know, I'm still putting some pieces together. So I uh, know I just saw you turn into a big, big guy, and I'm like, whoa, that's crazy. Damien, what what was all that? Ah, oh, dang it! Ah, when the Zintarum raided our home, I was what they were looking for. We were able to hide my form from them. But they destroyed everything looking for me. Is that like your final form? Yes. That's crazy. <laughs> Bro's telling you about the survivor guilt of having his entire civilization crumbled. Is that your final form? <laughs> it is my people's only form now. 
Um, can I do a perception check to see if like anybody's like watching us or kind of if people did like anybody see that or yeah, go for it. Like him. Okay. Fifteen. You make sure to check your surroundings. More importantly, looking up to the second story windows. You're not able to catch any glancing eyes, but you're not surprised if someone was laying this trap. If they were smart enough, they wouldn't have stuck around. Okay. All new forms aside, this doesn't change anything about you to us, Damien. Uh, I mean, you can change yourself, that's, that's fine, but this doesn't change anything about our goals. What we need to worry about is who put those cubes in our way and almost got us sizzled. Are there any it clues? Does, it does seem like someone kind of knows what we're up to. Um, I can take a look around. Uh, can Do you I guys think it was Sawyer? Investigation check to see if I can find any uh, clues that might have been left behind. If it is Sawyer, we are absolutely f He has no reason to strike us. If he wanted us dead, he could have eaten us in his lounge. But maybe That's he true. knows about Damien's secret. Well, then he could have eaten us in his lounge or kept us I'm there in a pocket dimension. I'm pretty sure he's here to defend us, right? I mean, he wants us to make him money. We're no good to him if we're dead, right? Is there anybody that knows about your secret, Damien? Other than us? You are the only ones alive. Huh. Uh, I'm going to do an investigation check to see if there's anything around that might give us some kind of a clue as to... Since you are in the city right and you are investigating and is one of your strengths, go ahead and roll with advantage. That is shift. Yes. Oh Ooh. my god. Oh. <laughs> oh, wow. Mm. Damn, advantage. Uh. Let's get those out of the way now. You know? <laughs> hey, I, I agree. I agree. Let's get those out of the way now. It's... It's an alley. It's, uh, you know, the, the only thing that you can ascertain is that whoever put this here put this here for the first time because if this was a reoccurring trap you would notice the difference in color between the acidity of the cubes passing through and this alley is dirty as fuck okay so whatever was set here you know is new but as far as the deployment mechanisms or who would take serious searching inside the, the houses themselves. Come. Well, uh, doesn't seem like I can really glean too much from any of this right now, but I agree with Mesmo. I don't think this really changes anything at all. I still think we have our objectives to complete, and I think we should make our way until new information finds us or we find it. Uh, I like walk up to in front of Damien. I put my hand on his shoulder like this and I say, I think your final form is pretty cool, Damien. And then I kind of turn around and walk away. Damien just smiles back. Takes a big sigh of relief. <sighs> and ventures forward with the rest of you. We need to find Whoa. clothes still. We almost got sticky. That would have uh that would have made the search for clothes even even greater. Well I mean that's just a constant state of life for glue. True, that is a technically oh, we would have been we more acidy than sticky, but I finally yeah, remembered to skin. upload the damn map. That, hey, preach. <laughs> Thank you. You are here. That first block. Uh, actually, no, I'm wrong. I completely did this map dirty here. You are one block away over here. You said uh, the store we're looking for is somewhere between like the fireworks and the blushing mermaid, right? 
or somewhere around there. Yes. I thought we were going to... Didn't it say it? No, it didn't say it. Oh, he it just said it was it. in between okay. like fireworks and the mermaid place. Yeah. So yeah, I want to try wood. and go like... You want to try and go like Somewhere up there, I guess. Yeah. There. Ah, nice pinging. I like yeah, that. Look at that. Mm. Oh, man. Professionals. Okay, so we're still pretty far away then. <laughs> yeah. But I mean, it's not, you know, that far. It's like, what? True. Half a mile, a mile, something like that. So. Well, we, we've <laughs> we've been sneaking around the city. I attacked a crow. We got cued. <laughs> I and forgot this about is how the... far we made it. I forgot about the crow. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, yeah, it flipped you off, I think. It, no, it did. I told him. I, I did tell him to. to, to right, you did deserve it. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know about it. yeah. Yeah, it was warranted. All right. My apologies to any crows watching. <laughs> and, um, yeah, they're all south for the winter right now. It's time for another group stealth. Oh, God. I suck at these. I'm gonna hit you with my I don't. plus zero stealth. Uh, I'm how do I you click on myself? Hey, we take that. We take a thirteen. Yeah. Where's my character sheet? Where's my? Yeah, I don't know how to Fuck. click on the character or roll my dice. Uh, you go up to the top where it says actors, and then you open Is up PCs. Third one over. Uh, oh, okay. But yes, uh, I can oh, also. I pop out my sheet every time I, I i meant to i just haven't clicked on me yet today uh we're doing stealth right yep Ooh, oh there you go also just a reminder when you do pop out your sheet you can double click the very top of the bar and minimize it into yeah. a, a small piece and uh reorganize very helpful stealth check who are we missing? Oh, let's go. 21. Uh, all right. Well. All right. Here we go. Damn. Calculatrice. No Dark nat one, that. so we don't have you. to drop. Thank you. Thank you. Nine, dude. Come on. I'm even plus four. Ouch. 82. We are at a 16. Flat 16.4. So close to getting that round up. Heading back through the alleyways. You're able to get through the next couple of blocks unscathed, undetected. Hoods up and trying to keep as low of a profile as you possibly can inside the city. Most of the action between the alleyways here are individual businesses dumping trash or refuse. There's more rats than people sometimes. And then the closer you get to Upper City, the busier it does. Coming to this large cross section where the gentrification clearly begins you look across and you can see the presence of the flaming fist the guards of Baldur's gate now flanking the main roads and occasionally seeing glints of the private guard of upper city heading further in the direction that you're going At this intersection, how do you guys want to proceed? Do you want to continue to stealth as best as you can, preventing yourself from being seen by anyone, or do you choose to act as if in the populace and mix in between? I feel I like without our more if we try and stealth when everyone else is acting normal. Like I think, well, think true, but I also we'll think just roll high on stealth. Could do that. True. Just roll high. Lol. I, yeah. I think we, we don't fit in <laughs> up here because we don't look bougie yet. Mm -hmm. Really? Like we have, we have, I, that's I'm, the reason we're going to this place is so we can blend in better in upper city. 
and if it's starting to get a little more uppity your biggest I, your biggest risk is the fact that you are on a bounty yeah even though it is a right, black market too, a black market bounty you are a recognizable adventuring party and you haven't yes. done anything to alter yourself as such so it is easy to spot so it's just generally more eyeballs more chaos more whispers more of a presence so it's just a risk reward kind of situation that you're in you are heading to go get some fancy clothes but you're not there yet what is the party thinking i feel like we roll high on stealth and i definitely good. roll high stealth um uh, i'm i'm honestly okay with either direction that we want to go because there's merits to both um but i i mean if you want to literally just decide it by coin flip we could do that too true i'm i'm down for that actually it's gonna work all right one all right, or so two one or two uh we stay stealthy three or four we just try to blend in with with the crowd wham okay, deal bet. One. All right, we stealth stealth. Let's go. Another round of stealth from everyone. God. Roll high. Ooh. Oh, oh my oh god, my I told you so. Okay, I told you so. Good, because we need that. that. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, well. Hey, listen. Oh wait, what? happening i think I've, with the double 20s we better double make it D, <laughs> double nasty <laughs> 20s we better i got a 10. Nice uh, it, there's <laughs> ruben <average>. double d's <laughs> <laughs> double d20s baby uh i i haven't seen a roll convoked like that in a hot minute uh yeah so the two lowest rolls are cut the two and the ten yeah this oh, is shit. a um <laughs> This is a ridiculous auto success. Uh, <laughs> we are, we are stealthy. All to plan. This yep. is just like Vegas all over again for me. <laughs> yeah. <It is. laughs> just so win. Yeah. Oh, that's if you only roll once. <sighs> we love to see it. We love to see it. You guys, in this in this case. It is a, it's the kind of, uh, it's the kind of stealth of just being able to blend in and know when to walk with a large group of people and not stand out as an adventuring parter, party walking through the streets. It's not even tucking in back and forth in alleys where a guard would even question you. It's like the Shaun of the Dead walk. It's perfect in its simplicity. And you just go with the flow of traffic because at the end of the day, sometimes you can just act as if and walk into the Super Bowl. And this is that case. You guys are going to be able to go past all four, five, six blocks to try to pick out a shop that you would like to go to. There are a handful of shops inside this bustling mermaid district that you guys can choose from varying degrees of affordability shall we say it is your choice on just how rizzed up you want to get what what would be an example of like the most expensive like how much is the most expensive like new set of clothes how much would that be your louis vuitton per se yeah let's say we, yeah. we kind of stroll up this, we're doing a little bit of window shopping they got some price tags on the uh on the windows what do we what do we got so if you're looking at the velvet needle as you come by to do a little bit of window shopping this is that here above this would definitely put you out of looking like an adventurer this would be of opulence so 
when you have to think of that inside of like D&D terms, these are the people that can easily afford 10, 15, 20 gold a day living. So the clothes yeah. inside this shop basically to get decked out sit in the 40 to 50 gold range per person. Uh, what gold do I have? Okay, I have 10 gold. I have, uh, I believe, 85. What? You have 85 gold? Well, I most of the we things that we've been earning, them. you guys yeah. just kind of like, I like I'm the wallet. Kind of. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I see. Yeah, so I've I've been trying to keep track of like, you know, any any big rewards that we've gotten minus uh, uh, Mesmo's cash from from recently. Uh, um, yeah, I've just kind of been holding on to everything. Are there any like uh, like knockoff stores type of things? You know what I mean? <laughs> like oh, there is ref like there is definitely refined rags, and it is the nearly perfect of Baldur's Gate. I oh, we can I spend think... if we would. I have a hundred gold. Spend... You have a hundred gold. Okay. Because I had the fifteen, and then I had uh, this. What I got seventy six. I think for my performance. Oh, that's right. Because you've been performing. Yeah, like, how you, you got, got that? Paid. So, um, and I didn't, I forgot I didn't give that to you. So I think we could reasonably spend 15 to 20 gold per outfit. Unless per. I can lie to them, because I do have, I'm just saying, I do have, uh, where is it? Distort now would value. be the time also to look at your background and to see if there's anything that gives you extra benefits. I have one plus per charisma on deception checks while trying to lie about who I am. So really sucks that I just got really confident in who I am today. <laughs> Occasionally um, there are, uh, to give you an example, if you are an acolyte, you can go and ask for different things uh, and uh, get provisions at temples and places of worship the same way that Mesmo can use his barding ability to try to get free room and board and extra money. I'm a fisherman. <laughs> yeah. I mean, um, I'm an investigator, so I Just, don't think I'm going to be able to do a whole hell of a lot. Cool. Just wanted to double check in case somebody had one of the uh, actual Baldur's Gate's feats that yeah, were there. All right. I'm trying to look. I mean, yeah, mine are gonna be mine's gonna be actor, and then I have destroyed value. If we if we if we want to try and haggle some guy, if we if we don't like some shop, I can haggle, baby. If you want to shoot right. for the top and head to the velvet needle first, that was around the forty to fifty outfit, and try to negotiate, you may do so. The lowest end is the refined rags. Those are gonna be literal. Uh, uh, you know, silver to gold outfits. Uh, and then uh, if you want to check down, there is frugal fits. I think that's probably where we're going to have the most success. So I, we Something in the 15 to 20 range, I feel like, is, is what we can kind of spare right now. Maybe Mesmo. going up to 25, depending. Mesmo, I don't I think th we can afford this. I... I mean, that looks pretty standard to me. I'm sure they couldn't price it up that much. I don't know if this, this is, is the place you really want to try and haggle. These, they have like, dude, I'm assuming these places have like guards in front of them and those sorts of type of things, right? Or no? There is a doorman at okay. the Velvet Needle. The other okay, two do Velvet not. Velvet Needle's a bit high of us, but. And it's, I Velvet think... Needle is not the highest. Then what is the highest for me? No, now no, hold on, now hold on. I don't. That's the thing. I don't know if we go <laughs> close to the highest that ones. Ridge when but would Mesmo high. go? That's what you need to be asking. <laughs> well, well, now hold on. He's trying to distort value. I mean, I can go wherever I want. There uh, is one spot that is of pure opulence. And it doesn't have a moniker on the front. 
it just has a large gold and purple 14 on the front of it. And there is no windows on it. It looks like the most secure door out of all of them. Yeah, I think uh, that place is going to call my name. And it's the w the one you said will have the most kind of options for data. What was the name of it again? Bro Robert? Uh, frugal uh, frugal uh, Fits and uh, frugal the uh, below yeah. that is Refined Rags. Uh, thought, oh, crap. I thought Frugal Fits I'm going to... If anybody wants to go to Frugal Fits with me, I think uh, that's probably where I can find the best outfit for me. I think that's all we're going to be able to really afford unless we want to burn. If, if you guys are trying to be frugal, all cash. I'm just trying to be a better performer, blend in with the with the streets, the sounds, the sights. Well, we well, can't all be no Mr. One... Moneybags. Yeah, if you no want to upgrade you. yourself with your earnings from your recent performances, oh, I'm not going I, to stop you. I no, I can I can help. I can help. I just I did I didn't know what the party's plan was. I well, think you'd look I, pretty good. It, that store looks kind of cool. That I looks just like don't right want to alley. spend literally all of our money on this. I would like to have a little bit left over. Uh, I suppose. So, just to give you a mechanical sense. Refine rags will do the trick as far as giving yourself a new set of digs. that disguises you slightly from the adventuring party that you're at, it will get you in the door. It is definitely the, you know, Sears catalog off the rack. Everything above that goes in a stair step. We'll give you an additional die to roll on your charisma checks while you're at the party. So if you go in to the Velvet Needle, you can get an extra 1d4. If you go up and above the Velvet Needle, there is a 1d4 plus advantage for the moniker that has marked the 14. Frugal Fitz gets the job done and can occasionally give buffs depending on how you describe yourself and the situation of who you're talking to situational bonuses okay interesting hmm. i'm sure we can split up but uh i'm probably still gonna go with frugal just because i think that's what agus would do gloop is gonna have a hard time finding clothes so it won't get wet I I am going to go to the next tier up, but that's because I feel like my character thinks I'm already dressed pretty well and I only need like to do adjust like one or two pieces, not the whole fit. So you're going to the velvet, whatever? Yeah. Velvet needle. Okay. Yeah, I'm just trying. I'll, I'll, it's I think like I'll a whole new outfit. Ah, uh, see, because I, a part of me wants to be like, oh, wow, they have a 14 here? That's, wow, that's <laughs> good stuff. <laughs> but also, I'm like, do I really want to, do I really want to walk into the place that doesn't have windows? Seems like a bit of a, seems like well, a bit they, of a Because they, they don't want the, the, the pores looking in. Yeah, as well. they don't yeah. want like, yeah, it's all the new shit. <laughs> For everyone in the audience that doesn't remember the uh, historical reference of the uh, the 14th store. I had a dream once after a session that involved this very store and it does have everything colored and callous selected. And Donald Trump is also the owner of that inside of my dream. So 100%. And everyone that worked there also was a variant of Donald. It was a very, very weird fever wow. dream down to the tailor. So yeah. So wait, wait, wait. Uh, one thing I have to ask, obviously, you know, not trying to support Mr. T, but um, will you do an impression if I walk into the 14 store and I talk to one of the associates? You look like trash. <laughs> Dude, I've like a dog a in a street. 
<laughs> Horrible dog. Uh, <laughs> no one has ever actually bought anything there. No one has ever actually walked through the door. So we'll see, you know? All right. I think I know. I think I know where I need to take my business. You guys enjoy, enjoy the, uh, the digs at whatever these places have to offer. I am checking out the 14 store. What? Because that looks sell? fancy. Okay. They probably will only sell numbers. How do you know? I'm gonna go find out, brother. Do you have enough money to be shopping there? Look, we're gonna go find out. I, I think. Well, he did just earn a whole bunch of money recently. Yeah, I, I mean, think he I did I've, kill I've it last night. Worked my myself hard enough to be able to afford some finer bardic clothes. Who's, where are you shopping? Well, uh, brother, I don't know if I'm gonna find any clothes that aren't gonna be soaking wet as soon as I put them on, so I guess I'll come with you and see what's up over there, cause... Yeah, it's pretty cheap. And yeah, it should I mean, do the job. I'm not exactly Mr. Moneybags over here, so, I mean, gotta do it. I mean, maybe they have, maybe they have 14, uh, acid-preventing gout Guy or Lucius, something. can I have a budget for me and Gloop? Uh, yes. And I'm going to give you guys both <laughs> 30 gold. 30 gold total, right. so like 15 I go each. from 10 to... Okay, 15 each. I go from 10 yeah. to 25. <laughs> the fighter oh. responsibly asking for his allowance is one of the <laughs> most wholesome things I've heard this week. Um, <laughs> I've been keeping track of all the money. You know? They're not Fair keeping enough. track. I'm keeping track. Uh, Damien, where are you shopping? Do you know? I mean, you kind of stick out, so you should probably roll with somebody. <sighs> he looks at himself. I guess everything is an improvement over the opulence. He looks at the feathers and his exposed skin and the fact that he looks like a Cirque du Soleil performer and is probably the one causing most of the eyeballs to actually go on your party. That's fair. Uh, I will go off your suggestion. So he will go to the wherever the lowest uh, lowest tier is uh, that you guys yeah, go to. So me and glue. Uh, yeah. Well, I feel like I dress the best out of everyone here, so I I don't really feel like I need that many th maybe just a new jacket so i'm i'm going to go to the velvet needle and just uh, pick up a jacket i don't i don't think i need that much i'll be right next door and we just split our separate ways i guess yep I'm walking our separate the, ways the first 3 gloop agus and damian you guys take a gander across the street over at Refined Rags. The first thing that you notice is the door has seen better days. Definitely has one of those that's kind of drooped down a little bit. And when you go up just to try to get in, it's stuck like every Main Street old door from like 150 years. <clears throat> is it, I guess you finally rip and get this thing open. And you oh. stare in to a very empty room. Uh, Gloop, are you sure this is the right place? I mean, if I can read, I think so. The sign says... If you can read? What do you mean, if you can read? Can I mean, I'm pretty sure I can read, and I'm pretty sure that says refined rags. I mean, I think we're at the right place. Uh, Hello? Uh, I'm gonna do like a perception check, see if I can. I don't know. No see anything or. Yeah, go for it. Okay. I will also do a perception check. Fourteen. Uh, okay. <laughs> Four. Uh, <all> right. <laughs> I am an ostrich with my head in the ground. <laughs> I'll give a uh, a Damien perception for you. Oh wow, no. wow, you guys are wow. <laughs> we are. What do you mean you guys? I got twelve. That's a little above average. 
<laughs> yeah, right. Fair enough, Rob. Fair Whatever enough. you say. <laughs> as you uh, as as you call out, there's no response in here whatsoever. Now the the good news is there are clothes on the racks. It's just very disheveled, disheveled to the point of looking like a Dollar General or one of the dollar stores where there's like. 18 of the inventory carts out like you're having to push things to get around them not a soul in sight oh uh, this is kind of weird uh and as i like kind of like you know browse through the clothing kind of going in between things and clothes do you i don't is this not a store i don't know if we're in the right place guys I mean, if there's clothes here, we're, it's got to be the right place. I mean, maybe we just go to the counter when we're done, and then someone will show up. Oh, 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 oh. It's one of the one of the carts burst out a dwarf with a large headband. <laughs> My tail gets all puffy, like. Oh. Is did he kind you of, not hear me yell hello? Brother, where the hell did you come from? He readjusts his glasses as his body is still stuck inside the inventory cart uh, do, you need, do you need do you need some help no i'm fine i'm fine i'm fine i'm fine, I'm fine. he kind of does a it takes a little bit of a head. header and kind of rolls out <laughs> exceptionally small dwarf uh, you know teetering on the gnomish side if he didn't have such wide shoulder blades definitely resembles a little bit of smee from hook at this point as he kind of like He's got a very greasy beard, uh, but the rest of them is uh, put together. If you were kind of going to a ironic Renaissance party, lots of thick ruffles in the front, his chest hair protruding and a strong smell of old man's cologne. Ah, what, what can I do for you gentlemen? Ah. Uh, we are um, actually uh, finding ourselves in the upper city for the uh, first time and we need your most extravagant garments with the best upper city fashion taste that's known uh, that's um, also for like a decent price <laughs> yes yes it's about time someone had taste around here I guess roll persuasion with advantage uh That's what we're talking about. I think you just oh, rolled it with disadvantage. <laughs> but, uh, <I'm> sorry. <laughs> hey, so used to it. It's still, okay. Still good. Yeah, so used to doing that. My bad. I mean, it's still too Oh, easy. if you're heading to a party up there, I have just a suit. And he, he lovingly, like, gives you a tug about, like, knee height. Like, come on. Oh, uh. Oh, but uh, also, do you have stuff for my other friends as well? Oh, we'll get to them. We got to get you dressed first. Oh, 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 geez, okay. I guess I'll wait then, okay. <laughs> he takes you over and there is a chocolate brown suit from head to toe. You can smell the mothballs. It's got a very Al Bundy style presence to it. In the specific undershirt that's in there, it's very... Pearl Snap Tennessee Williams. Uh, uh, I'm sorry, friend. I didn't catch your name. <laughs> <They're> cool. <laughs> uh, can I just call you Mr. D? Yeah, that'll work. Uh, uh. Mr. D, I don't mean to offend, but I don't. Chocolate brown is kind of goes against my fur, and it really it, it's a clashing kind of color. I'm looking for something more. You know, new age upper city. I feel you, like this is a little bit. With that cream white fur of yours, it makes this thing pop, especially the leisure collar on it. Look at this thing. <laughs> yeah, that's kind of the point, though. I don't really want to pop. You know, I kind of want to, you know, casually <sighs> kind of pop. You know, I don't want to be the loudest in the room type of thing. All right. All right. For God's sakes. <laughs> We're not putting the same black suit on you as everybody else. Now come over here. We're good. You happen to be going to somewhere near the arbor. This can really 
<laughs> this could set you off as he pulls out a navy blazer and a set of khakis and a very, very dated set of boat shoes. <laughs> oh, you'd be the look of the party with this one. See, now I do like this more so, but maybe with a different pair of shoes. You know, we're actually headed to somewhere near the wide in the upper city. So oh. I don't know if that style kind of goes a little bit differently with uh, what you had just said. <laughs> in this case, you can't go wrong as he goes and he pulls out a very interesting shoe. One from the past, no doubt. As you look and see this very large, almost brown, translucent sole as he pulls out a set of worn Doc Martens. Now, these. Yeah. <laughs> these, how long have you had these? These are these look <gasps> nice. And they're just my size. Uh, as he looks down to him, I think it's the last time I went to a concert, actually. <laughs> You're telling me we wear the same shoe size? Oh, actually, uh, most uh, uh, of the shoes here. I, he looks down. I got big feet. These are your your hand me downs. Not all of them. I see. So, uh, uh, so out of these three, like these are like my three choices. Essentially, that would be like fitted for me that I could just basically walk out the door with. You can pull anything of this style out that you want. These are just suggestions okay um maybe i was mistaken with well the upper city dress i was thinking more like beads uh think almost like old time you know uh robes that sort of thing um was i they, they this is what they robes. wear up here robes you're looking for something with tails then <laughs> we can get you something with tails and he points uh, over yeah. to a uh, a set which looks very similar to the Dumb and Dumber outfits, all of them. Uh, no matter what, it's a pastel color of your choice, but all of them have large shirts with ruffles and uh, coattails, matching pants, matching top hat. Uh, you know what, Mr. D, on second thought, I'll probably just take the uh, the navy blazer over there. Fantastic. Hold on, now you over here, the one that you said you were disinterested. <laughs> come on, come on. What exactly are you right. looking for? Gloop, I think that's you. Brother, I just need something that'll cover me up and that won't get wet and sticky from my skin. Do you have anything like that? Oh, that won't wet. <laughs> of course, of course it comes on. And he takes you immediately over to this rack of overalls all kinds from like Carhartt style to actual like a set of like duck bibs to another one the classic fisherman's yellow um gloop uh we're trying to dress up for the upper city here not just like how we want to dress up i i mean okay I appreciate you showing me these overalls, but something that I can wear that won't get wet and sticky that I can also look a little nice in in the upper city, you know? Could, do, do you have anything like that, maybe? Oh, you're looking for something trendy. <laughs> ah, that yeah, I have. a little bit like that. Yeah, semi-formal. He comes back with the classic Wookiee Swagweed Poncho with the the, the 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 ski resort most generic pattern across of it just triangles and some sort of weird co-optive native thing that doesn't even exist now that it's fancy keep you dry and look at it it's trendy as all get out covers you all up too you don't even have to worry about pants with that thing Agus, what you thinking about this one? Um, do, do a spin. Uh, all right. <laughs> I do. I do a little 720 for Agus to make sure he gets all the angles of me right. All right. Well, don't get dizzy. Um, I just need a spin. Um, 
Yeah, I mean that. Yeah, you look nice. You kind of look like a fur ball, but I mean, I, I think. Mean, th I mean, the problem. I don't know what people wear in the upper city, and you know, this could be like ten trends back. Or can we? I don't. But you look probably nice. Something like this. I mean, he recommended I mean, it to me. He'd never lead me astray, right? I mean, he. he you 100%. definitely. Mister D, Mr. D, you're pretty up to date with fashion, right? Of course. <laughs> look at me. Yeah, what is he wearing? Can I like? He's wearing that Renaissance ruffles, chest hair oh, out. That's right. That's right. Uh, <laughs> that's right. He um, he gives off that vibe that he's the he's the theater dude in college that never actually changes their costume. That's always working on set. He's got that sweatiness to him, and like it's just danked up theater outfit. Do you think this looks better than the things you get at the Velvet thing and the Fort? 13 store or whatever it's called <laughs> two totally different options here you're gonna save a buck look trendy on top of it how can you beat that well gloop if you feel confident in it and you feel good in it then yeah i mean get it but don't be afraid to try other things on too i mean i don't know much about dressing up but as long as it's cheap covers me up and i can get through upper city just fine I, I'm happy with it. I am uh, on group side on this. I would also like an extravagant poncho, please. As uh, he. Okay, Damon. Goes for another one it. that matches his color scheme so he doesn't have to take off all of his tribal jewelry and feathers. It more just covers him up from standing out so blatant this uh this will do fine huh? okay so i guess we'll take the poncho and the other poncho the blazer and the khakis with the dot with the with the shoes uh that used to be yours but they look nice uh, it's, uh, uh tallying things up uh huh. three and a half gold Oh, okay. Um, uh, hey, uh, okay. Uh, Gloop, do you want to give me, do you want to give me one gold and I'll pay the, the other three? I got you, brother. Or I guess, I... Damien, do you want to give me one gold too and I'll pay for the two? Cause you know, I'm just bigger and have more <laughs> Sounds body to cover. I mean, yeah, here you go. I here, Mr. Yeah, D, we'll round you up as a tip for helping us out and giving us a good deal. Uh, here's here's four gold. Oh, so. You're too good to me. <laughs> now you look like a bunch of stylish gentlemen. When everybody else is up there, dressed in their robes and black suits and ties, and you're going to be the talk of the party. Uh... Once again, Mr. D, I was trying not to stick out, but I guess this blue blazer might just do that. So, uh, I, thanks, I think. As I, like, kind of, like, as I'm wearing it, I'm literally, like, like, I've never worn nice clothes in my life. Like, I'm... Uh, they're gonna be asking you where your boat is. <laughs> I promise you. I mean, I'm feeling pretty, pretty snazzy in this poncho, let me say that. I mean... I'm going to be getting a lot of looks, if you know what I'm saying. <sighs> kind of feeling myself. I've never craved a closed cigarette before until now. <laughs> uh, well, thank you, Mr. D. Uh, we'll be on our way. Uh, thank you for all your help. And uh, just know uh, you helped us out a lot here. <laughs> you're very welcome. Send your friends over when you're back through. And then I, I like, I, you, brother. I like walk out like I've never worn like pants in my life. Like, you know, when you actually put clothes on a cat, how they kind of react, that's kind of what <laughs> I'm <doing. laughs> Hey, who do you, that's like the first day that you actually had to put clothes on after COVID. And you're like, what? Yeah. <laughs> I can't be a permanent sloth anymore. How does this work? And. I walk out of the shop with an unusual amount of swagger for Gloop, feeling extra confident in his new poncho. I hope, uh, hope things are going well for, uh, 
Dilucius and Mesmo. I mean, I'm sure they're doing great, but I mean, those brothers' bank accounts are gonna be gonna be drained. Let me tell you yeah. what. I feel like I we look good. Deal. I'd ask like for a high five, Blue. Snazzy. And but you know, high five, Damien. We look, feel good, play good, right? <laughs> Absolutely, as he lights up that Bally High Clove cigarette that he's found. You mind if I bomb one? Of course, I've never had these before. They were in front of the machine. Between you and me, Damien, I don't either. When I just smoke them, I, I don't inhale it. I just look cool. <laughs> it's it's, it's like a sparkler and it smells so delicious. Yeah, it, it looks really cool, right? As <laughs> Incredibly I like cool. <laughs> I'll take one too, if you're offering. Of course. Yeah. Hell yeah, guys, we look really cool. I take a cigarette and I just eat it. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect! Damn, uh, that was pretty good. Uh, that was pretty good. Gloop, no, uh, you know what? I don't, never mind. As I like lean back on like the wall and just try and look cool, smoke my cig. That may be even more poisonous than smoking. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, they say smoking kills, but what about eating? smoke hey, he thankfully. eats a lot of things i don't gotta worry about that i got a good immune system <laughs> as i reach into the cigarette pack for another one <laughs> no, I I throw it down my no. once again Glue. oh god He's perfect time sick. to cut and segue <laughs> yeah, i know <laughs> Dilucius, are you accompanying, uh, or actually Mesmo, are you accompanying Dilucius as he goes into the Velvet Needle first? Um, I actually did think about it. Maybe we'll, maybe, we'll, maybe, maybe I mean, I imagine to. they're, if they're right next to each other, I imagine, I, I, I'll walk in to see what, what this store has to offer first before upgrading. All right. As you walk into the Velvet Needle, the first thing that hits you is the clean, crisp fabrics of choice that stretch out in a long shotgun manner that seems to go all the way down. There is a level of opulence and wallpaper and deep mahogany inside of this entire shop where it gives off those kind of Indiana Jones meets Taylor. In particular, the music from one of the gramophones over in the corner silently playing. One that you have only seen a handful of times, Mesmo. These are arcane in nature and incredibly rare. We're still in a world where live performance music is the predominant yeah. way of consumption. Oh, wow. If this place has this, I'm wondering what next door has. Well, I'll only be a minute. I have a pretty good idea of what I want. Do I see any, do I have to like ring a bell? Is anyone around? I'm gonna go over and start examining the xylophone or the gramophone. C could be a xylophone. Excuse me, gentlemen. My name is Angelo Webb. Welcome to the Velvet Needle. As a gentleman walks forward in a three piece pocket watch tucked well done pinstripes that are tailored perfectly to his pencil thin body adjusting small round spectacles with a taut knot of reddish auburn hair can i help you uh yes i'm looking for a new jacket perhaps a, a new robe something if, if you have purple i'm very into purple um Something that has a bit of, maybe more of an astral vibe to it. I see. Please. Follow me. We'll look for something at, uh... Dark. Maybe midnight. Blue to purple, shall we? As he starts 
pulling out multiple fabrics and laying them through the spread. There are a multitude of choices that you can get anything that you want inside the shop. Okay. Are they going to find whatever is like sort of like a deep, deep purple? I don't want it to be too bright. Um, that maybe has some sort of like, I don't know, like kind of like lines going through it, like silvery lines. Oh, That's yes. just kind of like a nice astral design to it. Uh, and exactly what would you like the lining to be? We have several astrological as he kind of pulls it back and it's like that classic like sun and moon pattern on yeah. the on the inside we can do Ooh. anything of your liking oh i quite like anything with the moon Indeed. almost almost anything will work all right we'll do moon man pattern on this as he pulls it out into solitary uh astrological formations and moons and cycles oh that is quite nice thank you uh, uh that that will be all really uh this is m magnificent i see and this is a would work perfect with your current aesthetic it's there any other maybe a piece of flair that i can introduce you to as he pulls out a very frumpy style a renaissance hat with a matching uh, silverish feather that goes over the top. Oh, that is fantastic. Um, let me, uh, can, can I try it on? Of course. I put on the hat. Me Mesmo, how do, how do I look? I'm, I'm over here. Still trying to figure out how they got these tiny musicians into this box. <laughs> <laughs> I'm... Uh, I see your friend is mesmerized by our music box. Yes, oh, you called is. me. Both of you. Uh, yeah. How how do I look? I I think you look fine. I I I didn't know you were getting a hat though. And, well, hold on, wait. That wasn't the plan at the start, but I mean, if it looks good. We're, if it we're looks here, good, it looks know? good. No, when I am think I ever this, gonna be coming back. This place suits you fine. Me, I'll check next door. All right. Well, that'll be it for me. Uh, shall we uh, walk over to the? Uh, I don't know. Do they have a cash register for like the <laughs> desk or whatever? <laughs> yes, we can. Uh, we can get you tallied up. But if you don't mind me asking. Uh, I do see that you're bored of sorts. Uh, would you be interested in playing something for my music box and 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 have it suck me in? Not gonna happen. No, I was just looking for something in trade. That's all. Now trades, I do. Absolutely, I could um challenge your machine to a loot to a to a duel it's no it's not a, that's it's, what you're asking no it's not a tool it's more of a uh recording of sorts it's a uh, preserving your art for a whole new audience now that oh, i quite like neat. could could i could i take like one, two? Do you have more of these? I don't know. <laughs> this is the only one in existence that I know of outside of whoever you might run into in the upper city. And let's be honest, what need would they have for such a device? They can just get a live band like yourself. Well, I mean, I don't... The, do you want me to sing about anything in particular? I mean, this I could sing about the store, but you're... Uh, what oh, are you is, known for, think. my friend? What, well, every board has a signature story. I'm glad you asked. All right, I'm going to start. Does Mesmo on. have any reservations over the fact that he's encountering a device that is consuming his art 
and replicating it for free without being without being given proper uh payment for this first it's set a, art it's after a, the fact it's a trade i don't but think you don't have think only he heard of realizes. these this is mesmo encountering ai for the first yeah, time yeah, yeah, I fully, <laughs> is this I fully is this ai think, vtuber gonna put me out of business i don't think that he fully understands exactly what is being asked other than this person wants him to play um maybe i'll maybe i'll i'll catch on a little bit more after i think because this thing will just start playing my music right yeah and preserving preserving my art preserving your art oh i have you know i know i have a i have a i have a plan um let us see if this if this little thing uh, can even replicate half of the artiste that I, Mesmo Venomari, can produce. Keep up, little box. And I'm gonna start strumming away at my lute, singing the same, the same tale of woe and action that I sung last night at the tavern. All right, performance check. Nice. <laughs> 24. Okay. You start out strong as usual. Go ahead and make a second roll. I like this part coming up next. Oh, this is one of my favorite parts. And I Lucius took to the stars, the man above, <laughs> above Mars. I'm singing about whatever. Boom, another performance. 20. It's all 20 is a success still. Oh, still. It's probably a three-parter. No. 24 okay. success. It was 18, 20, 22. Wow. Holy shit. As you lay down the lines for this music box, finishing it a crescendo. Now it takes just a second as he snaps his fingers and it begins and you hear yourself maybe for the first time without playing what? no no that isn't me that's oh. not that's not what I sound like it, I, it certainly is it's, it's preserved turn it, this it, thing off I don't like it, it anymore. It sounds like you. It's distorted my voice. It, it, it is. It I is a, a, you know, it is a of lesser quality. Uh, no, it's uh, So you don't want to trade. What could be worth this, this box destroying what is good about my music? The Mesmo touch is not so easily bought and sold. <sighs> I was like, oh boy, here we go. If that's just the way that you feel, as he gathers and grabs your goods, Dilucius, then maybe you all best serve going next door. Hmm. Does he say that to us or just specifically? Uh, oh, yeah, he says it's both holding your goods uh, now. Now, hold on. That's not that's not what you said. That wasn't our deal. Your box has my music. My man wants his clothes. Excuse me. My friend wants his clothes. You recorded your music and then insulted my tastes. My tastes that it, it's it's my tastes. It's my voice. It's my I'm music. I'm sorry that you were not uh, comfortable in your own shoes. Comfortable? No, I had a whole thing about comfort yesterday. Don't talk to me about comfort and, and confidence and all this other I, stuff. I'm, I'm not here to learn a lesson. I mean, I, I thought it sounded quite nice. 
Yeah, of course, it's it's very difficult, I'm sure, to replicate your voice and sound one to one from it, it, it you it singing it versus uh, this this machine. But for what it is, I think it's quite nice. And, and Angelo looks over to you, Dilucius. I, I'm sorry, I I didn't get your name. Let, let, let us take care of this. Uh, good luck next door. We can agree to disagree as he leans over and snaps his fingers and it erases your track. From the I just arcane gramophone. To Mesmo, I'll see you outside. Unbelievable. I didn't even get the, the God. Didn't even get the board's name. If at least, can you imagine that? Someone of his sort doesn't even want to take exposure. He <laughs> has gone through uh, quite a bit in in recent memory, and, and perhaps he is still feeling a bit overwhelmed with some of the events that have happened to him. He had a, a big revelation about his, his mentor recently, and perhaps there are some confidence issues. So I'm, I'm, I'm not too sure, but I do uh, uh, apologize for him. <laughs> Go ahead and roll a persuasion check, Delicious. Ooh. Get it for free anyways. Oh, I'm so close to a two. 22. <laughs> well, I'm glad that someone certainly here enjoys our wares and has a taste for our flair. Oh, I love this jacket. Uh, let me see here. Maybe if I can put these two things together for you. It, normally, this would run you around the 30th gold mark, but this hat just cannot be separated. Shall we agree to 20 gold? Absolutely. And I start going through my, uh, my uh, little coin purse here and, and, and drop... 20 on the table. I like the magic going like one. Two. <laughs> <laughs> like, a, like a grandma. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh my God. Baldur's Gate. Everyone in front of you is writing checks. Infinite amounts of checks being wrote. Uh, <laughs> ah, yes. Um, that would be fantastic. Thank you. And, uh, he goes over and he gets a, uh, small wall calendar and please do uh enjoy some of the finest of the velvet needle as he hands you and it's a clearly homemade uh calendar status of like all of the old regulars in various forms fit and fashion okay enjoy oh thank you very much Uh, turn my ass around and I get out the store. I don't know if Mes Mesma, I don't know if you're waiting for me outside or if you've already gone on to the next uh, store. I, I I think I'd be waiting for you. Okay. Well, I'm going to walk outside uh, before I, uh, uh, thank you again. And I just walk outside. You're what welcome. The hell, what the hell was that, Mesmo? Was I the bad guy? I mean, you, I don't think you were the good one. I mean, I think that the recording was, you've never, have you ever heard yourself b b sing your own music in, in from, from such a device? Absolutely, I have not. But okay. I well, you automatically it was, hated it. You didn't think it was novel? I thought it was soulless. Soulless. Yes, exactly. I mean, machines only have so much soul in them, I suppose, but it's still not not even a little bit interested to, to hear what you sound like. Not, not necessarily live, just hearing your own voice. And what? Have it stuck up in this, this plushy, plushy little store for how many years after I'm dead? A part of, a part of me, a part of me, thinks it could be cool to have some sort of my music saved, recorded for these 
future listenings, but absolutely not if they're going to be distorted and, and tampered with in a way that makes it sound like that. Unbelievable. Well, I'm sure the technology can only go so far. And think about it, if you sounded as good in that recording and people were interested in hearing you live, imagine how much more impressed they would be when they do see you actually perform. When I perform, it's supposed to be special. And it will be continuing to remain as such, as long as there is no half-wit, half-baked versions of me running around there singing in machines. Based Mesmo. All right. I just thought a little extra, you know, exposure to your music would be something that you would be interested in, but, well, you know, you could be maybe, in two places at once. Maybe in, in Baldur's Gate, I don't have to be. And then I look towards the, the cool 14 store that I've been eyeing this whole time. Oh, maybe one Mesmo will look just as good so that he doesn't need to be in two places at once. He could be in all the courts he desires. Big spender over here. Did he give it to you for cheaper because he hated me? They usually do that. No, but they did give it to me for a little bit cheaper because they didn't think splitting both the items uh, would would do the outfit justice. So it, it did not cost me nearly as much. Uh, of course, I, I'm I'm totally sure he uh, he only discounted it because you stayed in his store after you kicked out his scaly friend. Okay, I'm, you're gonna angle it like that now. Huh? I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Anyway, okay. Uh, you you meet up with we the have boys. Mr. Moneybags think... over here going into the nice uh, uh, number fourteen store. I would I would invite you in. I I'm not sure if they'll 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 want you though. Oh, looking... I'm. I'm coming with you and... to see okay, what this I... place is all about. <laughs> I'm just saying it, they they might have better tastes. Roll well, a perception check. A bit more expensive. Uh, me? Both of you. Okay. I suppose this is as we're opening this door. Oh, it's hot roll right over it, right over 20. Dilucius, you don't hear it at first. But oh, <laughs> Mesmo. You absolutely do as you begin to take those first steps away from the Velvet Needle. You hear your music coming over the, the speaker in the front open door. Of the of the, of the Velvet place? Needle? Yes, it is currently playing. Wait, in, wait, in the Velvet Needle or the 14? No, the Velvet Needle has its door open in the front promenade, and you can hear your music being oh played. Oh my god. You have got to be joking. <laughs> I stop I stop in my tracks. I, I almost run into you. What? Do you hear that? The worst uh, me. The, and it the is, recording. It's, it's a little bit shittier version. It's like recording downgrade. It's just scuffing a little bit more than the last time you heard it. How has oh. it gotten worse? I'm gonna I'm gonna veer instantly into this uh into the velvet needle. Velvet Coming needle. with you to make yeah. sure you don't do anything stupid. Turn this off! I don't remember hearing that. Did you see Angelo stick his head up as he sets his tape measure down? Oh, oh, you've, uh, <laughs> you, you've returned. Uh, Why is the music playing? It takes, My music. Uh, it takes a certain amount of time to reset the magic inside before it goes away. I'll reset your magic if that's not out of there now. You should be happy with the exposure that you're getting in the first place. That's what I was trying Exposure. to tell him before. <laughs> well, before you, you can you actually are... get paid and make a name for yourself, having your songs around a shop like mine <laughs> would garner the exact kind of attention you're looking for. Are you... Are you insane? <laughs> you, think, you think paying people in exposure is any sort 
of treatment for true valued artists. I make fine money, you good sir. And I, I spill out I spill out my my entire bag of 100 gold coins onto this guy's desk. And I do not need the likes of you or any any other tipsy, turvy, Baldur's Gate upper level. And then here, just start tapping your bleep button, Robert. Yeah, telling me that my music isn't good enough. Excuse me, who, who are you again? My name is Mesmo L. Venomari, and you, my good friend, will not have this playing in my name. He I'm snaps gonna, his hire. fingers, and you can see your name <laughs> is now recorded across in kind of a little floating magical text while it's playing. Now... Now you have the exposure. At least for today, until it resets itself, which I have taken off. If you change your mind, Mesmo Il Vinegar, uh. I am fully red now, if that wasn't. I, I, I came in, I came in kind of like a, you know, a pale scale change, burning. I put my hand on your shoulder and I'm just like, just, it's going away by tomorrow. You'll for, you, you, event, you'll forget this ever even Dilucious, happened. I want to kill this guy, Dilucious. I, I, I want him dead. You, be, you, understood, you understand be this? Be the bigger lizard. Mesmo, I need you to roll a performance check. Twenty. Yeah, a crowd is beginning to gather around for your music and come into the shop. Folks off the street are perking their ears up. Uh, there's even a couple of people from last night's show. Oh, is that the board from last night? As you look back at Angelo with a big smile on his face as 5, 10, 15 customers walk into the Velvet Needle. Uh, uh, ladies and gentlemen, please do do not do not belittle yourself by listening to this this copy. I myself will be performing out in the yard for all to hear. Everyone, Mesmo El Vinegari. <laughs> this red velvet business has once again insulted me and my friend's taste in clothing, absolutely barring me from even purchasing an item. And they have not only, without my written consent or permission, taken my name and sullied it into this magical device, but they have stolen my music, my tears, my heart, my soul as well. Good people of Baldur's Gate, is this truly allowed in your streets? Give a performance check. For what check. it's worth, I, I like my jacket. Can I say, <laughs> uh, can, quick question, is the store we're at close enough to hear Mesmo going off in the streets? Oh, dude, you've heard Mesmo going off 100%. Like, there's there's no doubt that Mesmo's having to come apart. Okay. Uh, is that Mesmo? Uh, persu is actually, that persuasion check. I'm sorry. Persuasion check. Ooh. <sighs> okay. Damn it. That was close. We're going to roll a flat 20 for the general public. This is going to be their wisdom save. To listen to you. Yes! <laughs> yes! <laughs> I was like, is a one good or is a 20 good in this case? Yeah, I'm that's not what I'm saying. Sure. Like, is it good? I or that? Well, no, I assume I'm like, no, reading that. This I means they're dumb as shit! <laughs> <laughs> yes! This is <laughs> this is yes. not this is not good for you, Ben. <laughs> Wait. Well, oh. <laughs> oh. This means this that they are the least common denominator. They couldn't tell the difference between you playing in the box. The first old boy that is up in the cash register. Hey, I just want to say it. Whoever put this on for you has made my afternoon. As he actually slides 
money that you would have gotten over the counter actually tips him an extra gold as you can see people are lining up oh, oh please it's just an additional benefit it, you can buy goods but if you if you don't mind it, it will support the arts in the future here remember please the velvet needle thank you as angelo siphons off at least a 20 gold territory from you as a nightmare <laughs> uh so from like kind of like where i'm at can i do a perception check to see if like anyone's like looking at what's going on like guards or something like that that is taking you know interest in what's happening over there absolutely like, we are supposed to be keeping a low profile which uh now that we have been copyrighted or Mesmer was copyrighted is uh go for it but i'd be pissed too yeah if you just copy written your music we would oh, have a problem oh my god that was on the 18 bro <laughs> i did i thought i thought i was <sighs> I'm assuming i just see a crowd of people yeah just just <laughs> folks shopping no no big difference I look over at Gloop. Is Mesmo playing? Uh, I I think so. It sounds like it. <laughs> I, I'm pretty sure. Well, you've eaten eight cigarettes, so I don't know what you're really feeling at this point. <laughs> I look, my, I, I my shuffle the pack. My system can handle a couple <laughs> cigarettes. Okay, buddy. I don't want to hear it from you. You've inspired I can me. Anything on this godforsaken planet with ease. I put two in this well, time. Well, we can't miss Mesmo's performance. Do you guys want to go watch him again? Of well, course. So we got to cheer our boy on. Yes. <laughs> okay, we Damien yeah, comes we in clapping in his poncho. Yes. <laughs> the whole time, I am. I am now. And I like. I whip around two. I'm now two hands on two shoulders <laughs> on Mesmo, trying to keep them together. <laughs> My eyes twitching like... You just keep looking I... back at that gramophone. Whoa, Mesmo, you're a ghost in the box now? That's I do Mesmo, not... You sound really good. I want to be more than just a ghost in the machine. This is, this is, this is shattering. Whoever that filler is, they recorded that music. A plus, you hear as folks are now shuffling okay, well, out look, of the shop. Thank you, but I... Mesmo, you kind of look desperate to tell people it's you in the box. We're going to have to look for that Vinagari. Agus, my soul has been trapped in this box. The only way to free me could be to destroy it. Hold on. Is, wait, which is the real oh, Mesmo? No, no. Hold on, hold on, hold no. on, hold on. <laughs> oh, excuse me. That was supposed to be persuasion. <laughs> but actually, uh, I have even less of a, a plus to that. So that would be this. 19 plus what? Which actually, oh. same, same hey, thing. Even, same yeah. role. Uh, you would have been on a, let's see here. That's a 25 for you. Yeah. He's a, he's trying to appeal uh, to you, Agus. What do you, uh, Wait, uh, wh which is the real Mesmo talking? Is this the real Mesmo or the one that's in the box? The it's real Mesmo? me, me right here. Yes. You're the, the real you Mesmo. See. Why would if if we don't right look, it doesn't look like me. It's just playing my music. But you just said that you're the real, your soul was trapped in the box. So if wouldn't you be the fake Mesmo if you were the real one in the box? Yeah, how we- the only, No, the only reason to release my soul. Mimic. But you just said your soul's right here. You just I'm said you're not even strength. in the box. I'm about to roll strength check. I, is... I, I think he's actually out big brained you, Mesmo. If you had said, no, I'm I'm the fake Mesmo, I'm the real one in the box. You didn't even that, roll. I, I, I roll, <laughs> you should be very persuasive right now, Rob. I, 25 on this one. Ultimately, his agency is his own. <sighs> well, I gave you the chance by saying the real Mesmo was in the box. That was, I like, you just had to say. 
That's true. I did have to say that. See, am... even your own friends think this is a great idea. You should truly let me save it. Uh, Just think of how many more people would... <sighs> but they I mean, wouldn't be just... hearing me. Are we they they wouldn't think of you the next profile? time you play. You can't be and... in multiple places at once, and this gives you the chance. This is... Well, what can we say? Game changing. That's what, I was, that's what I was telling him. Wait. I want royalties. I offered you trade. What's going to be a king? Never to help, to help. If you're a king, how's that going to help you? No, I want my royalties sent directly to my lawyer. I offered you trade. And the I'm you suing you. I've removed oh. it from the box. I can't. <laughs> you and I will provide you with two no. more. I don't original. know. Original. Velvet Needle sponsored songs. If you throw five gold pieces a day into Sawyer, Sawyer, and Sawyer's account. Now, this is a highly different proposal that is out here. Uh like you said, you wanted to be the one to trade. Am I right? Ooh. This is my yeah. offer. These are my terms. And now, if you do not see that these terms are met, we, one more sentence of playing these songs on this ma machine might set my Leonin friend here off. Please, I, I'm sorry. I like point to me. Like, <laughs> I, I don't know if you understand how um, arcane things work. I, I don't know if you're uh, well versed in magical capabilities, but this particular device will have to take a certain amount of hours before it removes, and the first deal that we made was about a trade. Now, we can renegotiate about all those songs and this royalties thing that you're thinking of, but uh, like I said, this will, and the song is repeating itself again now for the third time, we will take at least 20 more hours before it Rolls off. I, I, I'm. Okay. So one gold per hour until it's gone. <laughs> this is not what we discuss. It's, it's what we're discussing now. Rest of you roll a perception check. <laughs> uh. Dilucius, you can particularly see that the shopkeeper's starting to get a little bit nervous as this group is now kind of sequestered inside of a shop. You can tell he's definitely trying to make eye contact with one of the flaming fist that is walking on patrol across the street. Oh. I'm down here. Why? You I, don't need to be talking to anyone other I, than me. I'm going to have a... Can we have a quick sidebar, please? A sidebar? What? Yes, a sidebar. Come here. We are attracting quite a lot of attention right now. The keep is trying to flag down the guards, which means... I like your shirt. Bad I'm trying to news like... for us. So, we need to come... As I try and like an get a sufficient compliment for my like, agreement time. here, or you just need to give it up, and we need to move on, because I'm I'm I hate we're, this box. We're, we're not we're not losing box. we're not losing right now. We're not losing over the music machine. Okay, this is not where where it goes down. Okay, <sighs> be the bigger lizard. It's gonna be gone in a day. What? 20 hours in in tw in okay less than a day it's gonna be gone in less than a day and you will forget that all of this happened if anything you gain a little bit of benefits because people hear your songs they hear it from from there that you get a little bit of notoriety and uh. by tomorrow it's all gone but i am not going down like this <sighs> i 
I'm supposed to be bringing more music into the world. But I'm also supposed to be sticking up for my party. That takes precedence. Shopkeep! You can bring more music into the world with my song on your device. But after those 20 hours, I'm gone. I kind of give like a look over to the shopkeep because Mesmo can't see me, but I'm kind of like mouthing like. He's counting the tips that he's gotten in front of you. If there's anything that you want in trade. I need clothes. You could be more specific. Green ones. As I hear that, I go, I thought you were going to the 15th. I floor. am. Oh. Uh, he pulls out a very master style jacket uh, with large designing women shoulder style pads. Is this the kind of green that you're looking for? Gr green on green? Is that really? Anybody really want that? I, just me. My professional opinion. I mean, look at your companion. How stylish. Hey, and even the ones that come from the refined rags, look, as he points over to Agus. Whoa. What is he? Whoa, refined rags, miss? This is the, the highest of the high. I, I will mean, take. Look at us. <laughs> I will I take. Show off my poncho. This is an incredible also poncho. Uh, also, Mesmo, your soul's still stuck in that box. I don't know if you're. It'll be I gone know. after. It, it will be restored to to his ownership in 20 hours. You were supposed okay. to smash it for me. To well, it anyway. You were, don't, no, I smash. don't do that. But anyway, I, guess I, I will take, which was the real one. I will take the most important piece I can, the most expensive that would uh, maybe subtract that extra 20 gold that you have there. That originally was mine. <laughs> Someday, my friend, you'll learn to pull up your bootstraps and open up your own small business. I will find what you're looking for. After we do have a reputation, as he will give you the spread of whatever you would like. I'm kind of giving you like your shoulder, but I was like, I'm just like loosen up. I know. I'm well. Just, let's find. Hey. We're resolving. I'm going to take these Are, clothes. We're going to resolve straight next this? door and just complain about how sloppy I look and I need an upgrade. <laughs> so, you, uh, you go for the leisure shoot, Larry. Look, it's very uh, uh, green on green. A um, little bit, a little bit Bob Barker ish from the uh, from the 80s. Definitely got a little date on it. Maybe a mint colored uh, inside shirt as well. We can do the green on green it actually you have anything darker you're doing me a favor actually this is largely outdated hey mesmo is this the song you sang last night yes isn't that isn't that crazy brand new thing i just wrote yesterday sounds like did, shit doesn't it how did it end up in a box I mean, I think it's what did you do? We'll go well, over put, that a put, little bit later. Let's just... He put his full soul into it, but he's still fine. I'll take it. It's a trade anyway. I think he's a vampire now or something. I don't like oh, when man. people try to take those pictures of me on tins either. You all need to loo... I swear, you all need to loosen up. What is the matter with some of you? You, you need to listen em, up. Em, embrace just, embrace these new these new inventions, these new technologies. It creeps me out. You know, I'd be a little bit less on edge if Gloop hadn't ate all the cigarettes. I ate not that many. I don't have. You ate them all. They're gone. I'm doing you a favor, okay, brother. I'm yeah. saving you in the long run. <laughs> no, yeah, but now we don't want to cool at the party. It's okay. I'll look cool with all the cigarettes in my belly. 
<laughs> as the flaming fist walks in on that moment, kind of looks down to you and smirks. Hey, uh, yo, Angelo, you got any problems over here? You need any help? Oh, that's a great tune, by the way. Now, love the music. Uh, no, I think we'll be just fine. Thank you. Ah, I, I, I give Mesmo a pat on the back. So you see? You see? It won't be green on green for much longer. I'll tell him that. Do you exit the Velvet Needle? Yeah. With your so music I'm still my, playing. My pile of <laughs> you take your pile of green clothes. Go, yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm not even stopping walking, walking straight into the 14 store. You not, a, not a beat. Walk up to the door of the 14. It is a large, almost bank vault like front. Do you knock on the front door? Yes. Doosh, doosh, doosh. Shunk. Door slides open. You can see a couple of very, very gold eyes look down at you and pause. Why, hello there. My name is Mesmo Venamari, re refined musician of Baldur's Gate, and I would be certainly, certainly pleased if I could upgrade my current wares and my current garb to something of actual quality. Roll a persuasion check with disadvantage inside your garb. Such. Did Mesmo just walk in just completely but like did you just speed ahead or are we kind of with you? You're kind of like I assumed behind me. That's not bad. Okay. I wasn't 19. sure if you wanted to be by yourself or if we were just kind of trying to speed along with yeah. you. I don't know what to do. You look like a dog. You belong in the street. I, we can't help you here. I don't know what to, the 14 uh, isn't for you. Uh, uh, I, I hear all this going down my, uh, Gloop, uh, follow my lead. Uh, As we kind of like lead. pretend we're walking behind. Oh my, Gloop, look, it's, it's him. Th that's the guy that's all over the, the velvet. He's all in that music box. Everybody's talking about him. Oh, oh, please, not right now. Well, I'm, I'm, he looks like that. I'm trying to yeah. do a a thing. I, I mean, couldn't say it before, oh, but it's, you look like a velvet needle customer. So outdated. Oh. Why do you think what? I'm trying to I'm trying to upgrade myself from this? I don't mean to be a bother, but can I have your autograph? We're really no, big fans. Please, I, I not right now. I, I need to think about bigger things right now. We've been watching you our entire lives. I used to love your videos. Wait, uh, I've never seen somebody get if you they oh you wear this stuff? That's so cool. Well, I am trying oh. to make some purchases in this refined establishment, but this oh this dog you like Exactly my point. This is the kind class. of clientele that you have. It just not 14 material. <sighs> Okay, I'm gonna burn oh, this well, too. Mesmo, it's his loss. We're really big fans. We just wanted to, to tell you that. And then me and Gloop kind of, you know, go off to the side and they're like, well, I guess we're not getting in. I try. Well. Show, show them your, I, I, I kind of just whisper, just show them your coin purse. Maybe just uh, flaunt your cash a little bit. You know, cash is always king. You know what I mean? We have more refined taste here. <sighs> I, it's just so hard. I either have to appease the AI art or Trump. This sucks. <laughs> <laughs> this is like, oh my god. I thought you were doing a Woody Allen shtick. <laughs> so who am I trying to appease to here? Um. I I I do kind of do like. Well, it doesn't really seem like anything in this store is 
my style anyway. Certainly, I could afford everything in here, but doesn't mean I'd want to be affording it. <clears throat> I have a lot of money on me currently. There's nothing working on this guy. Nothing is working on this guy. <laughs> Out of one of the uh, little alleyways, you can see that the attendant is actually has been smoking over at the side. Uh, he picked up what was left out of the uh, the pack that was thrown down. There was still a crumpled up clove cigarette in there. He kind of finishes the the roach off and flicks it over and walks back over to the door. You got an appointment? Wait, is this another guy from the fourteen? Yes. He's like the actual guy. It's a front. Actual guy. D does he looks over. He goes. Anything? Does this guy have an appointment over here? No appointment. Looks like a dog. That's not just Closes. A dog. That's him. Oh, what? what? I'll, I what? close the door. Me. Well, hey, hey, what? Uh, you're not familiar with this? Uh, I can tell you need an upgrade. That's for sure. We're Absolutely new to this do. area. Uh, do you happen to have uh, any available time for a walk-in? Oh, yeah. Money talks and bullshit walks. Uh, what are you looking to spend? I just look at Mesmo. <sighs> More than I probably need, but I am looking for opulence. We're going to a party and I want to look my best. <laughs> All right, now you're talking. I give, I, give, I give you a little, like, nudge with my elbow. I was like, see? What do you, uh... As he kind of gestures down to your coin, pur coin purse. Y yes. The, do you want... Am I supposed to tip you? You haven't done anything yet. <laughs> tip me. How embarrassing. No, I need to check and see what you got. You actually got coins so you don't go in here and run with shit off the rack. What do you think? Fair, fair enough, my fine sir. I, I, I'm not used to these. These rules, they, they must be of a higher class kind of store. <clears throat> anyway, here's my, here's my coin purse. Go ahead and roll another performance check. That bounce on the two is either going to be a good thing or a bad thing. I swear. Oh, oh, this is good. 20 is always good. 20 has got to be good. Oh, yeah. It is a performance check on the gramophone across the street. Ah, <laughs> let's go. No. There, there is now a one in, one out situation at the Velvet Needle across the street. As your tunes continue to play, there's easily 40, 50 people. It looks like... Yo, know, I uh, you know, the trendiest taco truck in town at this point. Uh, and I think we got a hey, actually, we just had a, a customer leave here right now. As they the door opens up as they actually walk out of the 14 and head and get over in line at the velvet needle. I can get you in. <laughs> Mesmo, can one, your two biggest fans come too? A one and a Ready, twenty. Please, <laughs> this, so bad. this machine. You're the if best. you just would have embraced it. If Take you your fans on the shop screen. Your music's so good, and I used to love your video. Please, oh Mesmo. I don't watch him. I don't watch him anymore, but I used to. Just look at that crowd up there. <laughs> Take us in, please. I had no Pretty idea that the gramophone was going to be the, uh... No, no, I don't want it. <laughs> That's I, why I, I, I love really D&D. <laughs> oh, man. I, uh, man, I want to throw my dagger again. <laughs> I'm going to throw, throw, throw it really far. It's going to work. <laughs> oh, my God. Are you going to walk across the store and... What are you doing? The door is open to the 14. 
This is, dude, I hate this, man. Last, man, last episode, last episode, I loved being the main character. This episode, I hate being the main character, man. This is so frustrating. I'm just very quiet, just Mesmo, regain, regain, reestablish. My, that's my regain. music. I just, Take us in the story, right you mess my the please. Faster, okay, hey, the fine, faster fine. we go in, the faster you get your things, the faster we can get out of here and forget about all of this. Roll a perception of check. Me? Uh, I I anyone in the street. Oh, man. Big dick. Oy. Oh, 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 oh. Nice. <laughs> gloop. perceptive gloop as per usual. <sighs> there are a couple of folks that walk out of the, uh, the velvet needle that kind of bump into you. Hey, can you believe this? Look at this. As he holds this scrying stone out and it begins to play Mesmo's music from the scrying stone. Wait. <laughs> That's unbelievable. I am now actively pushing Mesmo into the store. <laughs> I know. I'm like trying to be on. I haven't said a word. I'm I am pushing just like Mesmo. Mesmo, will you sell pushed. our CD? You're our our stone? Oh, I, is he here? Is that crowd begins to rush over. Can we get, can we get Ooh, a signature? On. On, can we get we'll it? All right, all right, come on. <laughs> This is our one and only chance to get a picture with our favorite musician. So I'm still on, the, we, on like the steps of this 14 place. Yeah, right? you're still on the steps yeah. of the 14 and this crowd, this wave of people been coming over. Is this Mesmo? Is this Vinagari? This is Mis killing me. Mr. Vinagari, <laughs> will you sign my scrying stone? And that's when you hear it for the first time. What? Okay, hold on. I need to. I need to just private private die over here. <laughs> Tales never fails. <laughs> Why, yes, ladies and gentlemen, I I whip around. It is I, Mesmo Venamari. Oh. Wait, venom. Okay, it's venom. venom. Uh, it, oh, okay. I whip my loot out. I have my my. I've thrown these stupid clothes on the ground. Dumb clothes that I bought from the Twilight. They're the velvet pin needle, whatever. Um, <laughs> and you and I have a much, I have a much better song to to sing to the masses now. This song is specifically called uh, copyright. This is the copyright song. Give uh, us a performance. Mesmo, the shopkeeper's holding up the megaphone while you're doing this. Oh yeah. <laughs> 25, you, hey, you got the crowd in an uproar. They're in the palm of your hands. For being as upset as you are, this is the biggest audience that you've ever had, and you've never been accosted for autographs in the street before. Damn, Go ahead and make a second yeah, performance check. I, I, during the performance, quickly lean over to Agus and Gloop. What was the name of the place you guys went to? Uh... Uh, uh, Mr. D's, uh, uh, Damien, what was it? Rags or some f fabulous rags? Uh, refined rags. Refined rags, yes. What did uh, he say? Mr. D's. Perfect. I found my protagonist. All right. I am now. I am now singing the the woes and wails of the refined rags establishment as they respect and cherish 
artists and their their performance. Why you, Mr. D seemed like a good way guy? to go, Macklemore. You pop those tags. Exactly. <laughs> Twenty three. You still have the audience in the palm of your hand with a second success. At this point, even the guards have piled up over on the sides as you have this entire street shut down. This is like, uh, you know, when all those people were doing stupid pop-up events about 15 years ago in public spaces. Uh, 100%. That's what you got going on. Oh, yeah. One I last can, uh, performance check. I'm now, guys, I'm now we were fully all there on before the side. He was so big. <laughs> I know. And I tip my hat to my to my boys. <laughs> you can't borrow inspiration. And this is well, no, no, no. This is the uh, this is the luck. This is my luck. You gotta, you're okay, you gotta luck it. All right. Of the of the day, because, luck. Uh, you have to take the roll. I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna take that role because no, that, that's not, that's, that can't be how this ends. Surely. Hey, that's better. 19, you don't finish as strong as you hope. You break a couple of strings at the very end, but the crowd is still sated. After all, they have been hearing an inferior version of you the entire time off the gramophone. So this has been an improvement, even if you do blunder the end just a little bit as that, that's what happens with a natural performance ladies and gentlemen please you'll get about uh 10 gold pieces that come in uh, f just from the crowd the okay. guy that's holding down the door at the 14 <laughs> excuse me i uh, didn't know we had a celebrity i would Hey, we got a Mesmo uh, Venonari Ven Ven Venomari over here. Yeah, He's only the biggest part in Baldur's Gate right now, and I get to shop with him. Glue, pinch me. <laughs> oh my, I would love to, brother, but you know. Oh, that's right, you're, yeah. I'm trying to like yeah. think back to like what I was talking about when I was pretending to be his agent. <laughs> <laughs> if I have to go back into agent mode. As you make your way, how wait? How far is am I from the? Uh, like how far is the the needle from from where I'm? Standing? It's right across the street. How, how, Thirty feet, give or take. Yeah. No, 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 never mind. Continue. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna. No, no. As soon as you oh, ask how many should, feet, you should, no. you gotta do what Mezzo's gonna do. You can't. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm. I can't. I can't. Make the jump. <laughs> what? Well, I'm just. I'm wondering how. What would Mezzo do? Are you? How stealthy would my mage hand be? I'm a pretty you, stealthy guy. You can roll for it. Interesting. We were how almost there, Dilution. We, <laughs> <so, laughs> we are nearly in the door. Uh, we're I here am, for the as pettiness. This, as this performance is happening, as I'm as I'm doing my closing remarks, I just want to see. All right. If my if my if I cast Mage Hand, and have it slink through the crowd, into the um. Into the Belvedere. place that is the stealing my, my likeness. <laughs> yes. uh, how secured is it? It's over by the uh, the the front of the door, so it's uh you know it's not hard to get to by uh, by any means. I'm just saying, you know, if someone stumbled by it, pushed it over by accident, that wouldn't be like the most telling thing in the world, as as far as I see. I think it's a magic box. I think uh, it's going to need more than just falling off the sand to break. I mean, I don't know, though. I mean, it didn't seem like a magical box. I'm just saying, while, while this performance is occurring, if a mage hand was happened to be cast, that's where it would be going with its goal in mind of pushing that thing over. Joey, can you read the last line in that box in, in your mage hand for me? I don't know how, I don't know, uh, carry more than 10 pounds. Can't attack, ag activate magic items, or carry more than 10 oh, pounds. Yeah. I don't it know can... how heavy this thing is. It can push. Absolutely. There are two people that this will have to go through. 
the shopkeep and the flaming fist guard that's there. Can mm. All right. I'm going to go ahead and roll that perception check for the guard. Just not higher than a 19, I think. All right. I have two luckies, boys. That's all I'm saying. I'm feeling lucky today. You bet. I might. Guards of guards got a plus five. Shopkeep has a plus two. Oh my Nat god! Nat one for the flaming okay. fish. My god, that was low. <laughs> All right, here's the plus two for Angelo. Okay. All of them enthralled with the crowd that's present playing the entire time sending your mage hand over as a deception over towards the gramophone what do you do I'm a push it as you push it the table rocks back and forth as it slams down and breaks. Okay, it does break. You hear a clattering of coins. And then it's as if time freezes. But you're still playing as Angelo walks forward and picks up that coin and looks across from you. You really should have kept the first deal that we had. As you can see, these are all soul coins that are laying here and you're looking across at one of them with you on it. And that's where we're gonna pick back up after you go and refill your beverages real quick. Holy shit. Oh, I don't even know what that means, bro. Ugh. I don't either. It was my soul. <laughs> yeah, I guess it was your soul in there. But... <laughs> Yoinkies. Yeah, if you had said you were a fake projection and not real, I would have smashed the shit out of that box. <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah, if if you had right, if yeah. you had walked away was... if you had walked away, I was going to let you know that you just felt a little less inside and you were going to lose part of your charisma. It is a partial. Yeah. It is not a fully charged soul coin. They are using it just enough to take your essence. But we'll get to deal with that mm. in just a second. Mm. All right. <laughs> Okay. Well played. Yes, man. Well played. Well, well, we'll see. We'll see how this goes. Those rolls were crazy. You're like, we all we get the one, and you're like, <laughs> yeah, it's like, not a good thing. Like, yeah, I, just, I had no idea if the one was good or the one was really, really, really bad. Dude, the one well, to twenty. The twenty, and you're like, yeah. yeah. And you, what was that for? And then you're like. Uh, the music box across the street. Yeah, yeah that's this, why I'd, I didn't want to say anything until it was the, until I figured out what it was for. The two that episode so Mesmo arc. You're literally, you, hey, you, you got your endorsement from your, uh, uh, you know, from your mentor, and now you're literally having the blues crossroads moment with a devil. Hey, yeah, I hope you wow. brought uh, some business Great. to Mr. D's, though. I respect the performance. <laughs> Shout out to Mr. Hey. D's. I hope they got some yeah. business. I, <laughs> He was a good guy. He was a good, definitely way cooler than your guys is Taylor. I agree. It's all, all been avoided. Joe's like, actually, I'm just gonna start at the 14. You know, like this. <laughs> just so funny. I'm grabbing a coffee. I'll be right back. Yeah, I'm one little thing, like <sighs> butterfly effect type of thing, changed I know. literally everything. So funny. <laughs> and and now we're fighting a devil or something.
Hey guys, so sadly, this is where this week's episode ends. We were going to pick it up like 10 minutes later, but after 30 minutes and Ruben still didn't come back from break, we figured something was up and just ended the recording. Um, what happened to Ruben? Yeah, what's up? Do you I, have texted a, him, I, I texted him, he has not responded. I have no idea. We, uh, yeah, because it's 9, uh, it's 9.13. We may end up, that might just be the, that might just be the closer. Luckily, Ruben is okay. Nothing, nothing like went wrong or anything. And when I was watching back the VOD, I realized Ruben didn't even leave his room. He just kind of walked off screen. And then I realized that's where Ruben's bed is. Um, he just, he, he fell asleep. He sat on his bed and he fell asleep. That's totally fine. We just had no idea. And we, I like called him and he didn't pick up his phone and we were like, okay, okay maybe something, you know, family emergency, something happened. He, he fell asleep. So in three weeks in, in February, we will see you guys back um, for the rise of the black worm. Things are starting to heat up. Mesmo got like his second main character episode. And I like this one a little less than I like the first main character episode. So I will see you guys then. Um, I gotta, I gotta move to Tennessee real quick. Next time you see me like this with the D&D stuff, this probably won't be my background anymore. So, love you, appreciate it. Thanks so much for watching. Uh, see you in a bit. Bye.